Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another game with Vindicata, Streetwise, and Compassion. Hello. Greetings. So, I'm still in the middle of the Hundred Years' War. I think at this point, um, I'm just going to piece out of it um, and cut my losses here. Um, and we'll see what I want to get out of it. Serbia. All right. I think this is all I'm going to get. I'm dealing with an interesting situation over here in Pomerania. Looks like Hinterpalmern, um, which was my war goal, has been occupied by the Teutonic Order rather than my own forces. So we'll see what happens if they're able to piece out and grab that territory with enough war score. Or, uh, or if I have to go to war with the Teutonic Order when my piece is up for that territory, which would not be great. Aragon already views me as a vassal, eh? You know, having looked at all that, I probably shouldn't have accepted all those royal marriages, but eh, whatever. Fine, when is the royal marriage done anyone harm? I'm going to embargo you, and I'm going to embargo you. Embargo everybody. Actually, it looks like the Teutonic Order doesn't have a war goal for taking territory, so hopefully it was a defensive war and we can get this taken care of. And quickly, seeing as I am out of manpower. <laughs> Right, looking at what vassals I'm going to absorb, I think I'm going to do Orleans and uh, Bourbonnais and get them out. Free up some of those delicious Diplo slots. Peace offer from Serbia. Nope. This is actually our excuse to go to war with Byzantium for Venice. And take it before the Ottomans do, and then hopefully they don't hate us. <laughs> but we still have Poland on our side, so we'll hope that scares them. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Diplomatic for my first idea group. Yep, Diplomatic is a good option. I'm gonna mill tech up here. Ooh, I ah! do that too. Shoot, the Teutonic Order decided to take uh, Hinterpalmer, but that's okay. Looks like my you'll be back is to war with them in three years. So, second February in three years, I'll be able to go off on them again. Two years, actually. Wow. So, 
We'll have to go back after them. Wait, that's my important. leader's name is Doge? Yes. Doge, really? Doge. Yep. So, so Venice could invent the Doge coin? No, no, no. Doge is his title. Oh, so all my leaders like, are Doges. Yes. Yeah, Doge Giovanni Aldis. Venice can into Ottomans. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the meme jokes. They are real. Alrighty. Well, this war went okay. I wish I could have gotten all three of the Pomeranian territories, but uh, we can go back to war with uh, the Teutonic Order. That won't be too much of an issue. As long as I can call Poland in on it. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? An event that just gave me plus 60 to all of my vassals' uh, favor with me? I think so. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's oh, useful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what happened at the Battle of Naxos, but that was brutal. The poor Byzantian army just folded. I didn't <laughs> think I'd stack wipe 10,000 troops with 16, but jeez. But jeez. Is that kind of like but jeez? Sorry. Doge, Doge War. Doge War. Uh, did Byzantium declare war on you? No, I declared war on their ally, Serbia, who was uh, way up there. And I'm basically uh, ignoring Serbia because someone's already beating up on them. So I'm saying Poor hello, Byzantium. Byzantium. They, they survived getting killed by the uh, Ottomans to get destroyed by Venice. Exactly. That's horrible. And Poor. I'd actually vassalize them Sheesh. if I could, but I think with their own vassal that won't happen. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the piece. But I'm happy. I believe you still can, but... Okay, I could keep Giovanni, get one, five, one. All right. I could roll down on trade. Ten Republican tradition. Let's play that. I have captured I Pomerania. Oh my god. Stop with the messages. Ooh, uh, message. Trade power bonus. Yes, look at that. I haven't even looked at my merchants. Really oh, should. Castile, you dirty, dirty, dirty bastard. I usually assume that the computer has done a decent job of initial merchant placement. Poland, what are you doing? Uh, that actually doesn't look all that good, but I'll fix it later. Alright, I need to recover some manpower for the next two years so I can go back to war with a Teutonic Order. Avignon's government does not support a royal marriage. What the hell kind of stupid government are you? You're a theocracy. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Guarantee him, offer him military access, all that stuff. Yeah. He'll eventually get there. She's going to make it difficult. Well, I mean, it is French territory. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna stop with the rebels because good god that's a lot of money. But who'll stop the rain? Um that's a good question. Who does stop the rain? Hussein, I guess. Uh cannot full annex. I can make Athens a vassal, that seems a little bit silly. Can't make them a vassal. I could excommunicate Avignon. That's funny. Oh, it doesn't work out mathematically. I could take Constantinople. Oh, I could excommunicate Milan. That Goodbye, feels Milan. Like such a bad <laughs> idea. Sorry, is that is that abuse? Abuse of power. <laughs> what would I? Uh, Constantinople would be an interesting place to take. Constantinople is more than an interesting place to take. It's a fantastic place to take. Uh, excommunication war against Milan. I am down. 
uh, then we're just gonna have to take Constantinople and call this done. I think everybody's going to war with Milan now. Poor Milan. Right? <laughs> like, yeah, no, you always... don't get to have okay. fun anymore. Holy man. <laughs> Poor Milan. <laughs> Call me, baby. I really hope we can hope her treatment works out here because I don't have the force to repel rebels in Constantinople at this time. I can't white peace Avignon and the papal state yet. That's terrible. Oh, you know what else uh -oh. I'm going to do? Uh oh. Just for fun. Crusade on the Ottomans! Well, I've oh got God. it. Good call. Good call, France. Yep, yep. That's what France does. France is as a France does. Cheesy. Uh oh. Right. It's almost February. I do not have the manpower to go to war, but I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> if I don't, Poland will. Hey, Papal States are expanding a little bit. They took a bit of Ferrara. Go, Papal States. Austria will call in. Well, we're going back in once again to war! Aww. We needed a shake-up. No, we don't! Stop saying that crap! <laughs> we surely did not need a shake-up. It's time for a stability hit, Biddy. Yay! We think it would be great if we just had a stability hit in our country. Right. Thank you, Big Brother Austria, for the saviorness. Oh dear, why are Bohemian troops red to me? I think I've gotten into a complex war. We're gonna try and take Danzig off of, uh, these guys. Ooh, maybe not. Poland wants Danzig. Papal states, give me access to hide in your territory, please. I don't think this war is going well for my side. I think everybody watching has to think I'm an idiot, because I always <laughs> want to go into the main menu, but I always click on the production interface, because I use the production interface so much. Hmm. I'm bad at clicking. Click, click, click. I got my law degree from Costco. Costco. I know, I was surprised I got in too. Well, I mean, you know. Sorry, I love that movie.
I feel like I've seen that movie, but I don't know what it is. Idiocracy. Oh, yeah, I love it. That's a good movie. I knew I'd heard the line somewhere, but it just wasn't clicking. Oh. Oh, Savoy. Attacking, uh, attacking Burgundy ultimately was not the best idea. This whole Milan <laughs> thing is a disaster. We're taking our army and going to park in Athens until this all blows over. I'm so disappointed that England is in a Regency Council already. Really, I'd kind of hope that that would just last forever and ever. Wow, that was fast. I got rid of that 000 oh, right man, away. Oh why can't I do that? Freaking, I hate that game. <laughs> all right. He lives until 83 when I play. The AI is here and he's dead in 15 years. Because you gotta throw him on some infantry and just send him up into Scotland for a while. <laughs> Those Highlanders, man. I do that, and I send him on boats to sink, and I, I do, you know, I send, you know, assassins. Horrible, and horrible things. I, I perform voodoo rituals in my couch. Nothing works. I feel a little bit nervous about just owning Constantinople in the middle of the Ottomans. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. I can't believe you took Constantinople. Oh my god, you did take Constantinople. It's mine, bitches! Venice <laughs> owned oh Constantinople my Lord. in 1457. That is a horrible idea. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But what I do have on my side is Poland. So if the Ottomans do <laughs> war deck me, I've got a chance. Unless they're in another war. I know. And they're my <laughs> allies, and I go to war a lot. <laughs> oh, I cannot I, believe I you that. took Constantinople already. Uh, you, yeah. are, <laughs> you are so screwed with that. Glutton for punishment. He really is. It'll make for an interesting game. Oh, I need the core Athens here. How has Milan <laughs> survived this far? Right? Uh, Bohemia. Bohemia and all their... And Burgundy. Because Burgundy is on their side. Burgundy is, is their friend. I, I excommunicate I them, and yes, they still and, have friends. And How that, that caused possible? Savoy to uh -oh. war deck them and call me in. And I'm like, oh, Savoy, and then it's stomping Milan. This will be great. And I did not I did not see. I did not read the whole pop-up. And now Savoy is being totally surged out by Burgundy. And yeah. At least they're not attacking me. That's awesome. I suppose you got that going for you. But that's... I really have just taken my army over to Constantinople and Athens, and we're just parking them there and sending this one out. Because they don't hate me, I don't think. But they don't want a white piece yet, because they are winning so hard. Austria, I'm sorry you have rebels back home, but I need your army for just a little bit longer. <laughs> so I, I, made, I did this war declaration with um, a 13 stack that was down to 4,000 troops, mostly cavalry, and no manpower. And Austria came up, killed their army, and let me siege it out the provinces I needed. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, powerful allies is powerful. All right, do we want to go ahead and end this a little early? Sure, can do. All right, let's go ahead Feels and end like a good this. stopping point. All right, thanks, folks. Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Thanks, everyone. Take care.